Hi guys, uh, let's see what's uh, going on lately because uh, I've kind of been uh, not very active, at least with the tech stuff. I have been hiking uh, on the mountains. I don't know why it was the first time in 20 years. That's a big bummer since I have the driving license and a car for more than 10 years now I don't know why I stopped doing that maybe it's just the laziness induced by owning a car you know just wanting to drive right to the spot that you want to see and not walk anymore I don't know anyway I remembered that I can do that uh, and I went together with my wife and we've had the best times the weather was announced to be stormy and thunderstorms and lightning and you can imagine that was a bit scary first time I'm on the mountains <laughs> since I was a child basically so but it turned out okay there were a few clouds we heard a few thunders but it was pretty far and uh, it was mostly sunny, no clouds, no fog, uh, it was great. Anyway, you can see this, uh, you know, I've uh, introduced these shells in this thing. And uh, now it looks like this. It's not bad, it's not what it used to be. Uh, I am currently trying to sort these things uh, in such a way that I can both know where everything is and uh, kind of have them grouped on the... Uh, no, there I am. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. Uh, <clears throat> uh, kind of uh, group grouping them by uh, type. Everything uh, that is uh, here on the left side is uh, IT only, so top shelf is nothing but cables, but just computer related cables. Uh, these two big boxes, I think uh, the top one is the same. I've written LAN, you know, just because it's short to write, basically anything uh, network related. Basically just uh, uh, Ethernet cables, uh, all sort of extension cables, power cables, uh, video cables, every kind of cable that I have that is computer related. This is, um, uh, it's not exactly a category by itself, but I have like some PCB tools. I have like one of those PCBs with a display that can show the BIOS uh, codes once you put it on a motherboard. Uh, thermal paste, a uh, couple of coolers, cooler box. Uh, this is SATA cables. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, rack screws and uh, rack uh, accessories. Uh, these are just medication. This green box is uh, storage stuff, basically just cards and uh, USB sticks. My backup drive and my very valuable uh, PC screw box. I have all the types of PC screws and a couple of adapters and whatnot. A couple of mice to use. Uh, for testing purposes, then even lower, uh, I have the power brick for uh, the third monitor that is up there and that I sometimes use when I need to. This is just the camera bag, uh, phone related stuff. I don't know what the hell it is in here anymore. You can see I, I started uh, labeling them. Obviously, I didn't. Uh, have enough time to label all of them. Uh, memory sticks. These are basically just old. I have 
I even have like SD RAMs in there. That's crazy. And just a few more stuff in here, like keyboards, four power supplies in there, and that's it. So this this whole uh, left side tower just IT. And then I go here. Uh, the top one is going to be electronics only. Then this one, uh, the second one from the top, the mechanics. I have only screws here and nuts and bolts and all that stuff. And drilling bits, uh, all kind of screws. And uh, on the left side here, uh, the electronics tools. There aren't that many. I mean, I just have the soldering iron, the soldering pump, the soldering sponge. The solder, a bit of super glue, hot glue. I need some some more of those hot glue sticks. The all important uh, heat shrink tubing. Uh, some uh, lubricating oil for uh, computer uh, fans. And then going to the bottom, all sort of things like power bricks. Uh, uh, Connectors with wires attached to them, like snipped off of uh, stuff, textile bands, uh, SIM cards from phones, uh, good phones, bad phones, it's a bunch of old telephones, like a Blackberry type Nokia, I, I think I even have some Blackberries, nah, they're all Nokias, they're really old, I think I've, I'll just sell them for a little bit, but here's the thing next to it I have the clothes and you can see they're really they're really crowded in there I even have my pajamas in here with them so given the fact that I also have this thing on a balcony uh, I want to kind of rearrange all the stuff and try to put it all here you can see that there's a lot of wasted space here a lot, of, a lot of these boxes are empty, they're not stacked well. There's this whole area here just with this, uh, there you go, it's just empty boxes. It's just a very old motherboard that I used for testing purposes, you know, testing uh, computer components. I'm still not very sure uh, that I want to keep this. But it, I feel really sorry uh, throwing it away knowing that it, it actually is a computer system that works. And that always pisses me off, you know, throwing throwing out something that works. It's not just not something that I do. So, uh, I, I'm not going to throw it away, but uh, definitely I'll have to find a different uh, spot for it. Uh, and I don't know where. Top shelf is just two things, this uh, wiring, uh, tubing, uh, just sitting there. I have no idea if I need that anymore. I only use it for this, but again, I feel sorry for throwing it away because there might be some cool stuff left to do with it. And on the, this thing on the top is just a box with my cat's toys. <laughs> uh, I've put it away because uh, if we live... If we leave this guy alone at night, going on a trip or something, he just uh, pisses neighbors off with making noise, playing with his toys. Uh, and somehow, I'm gonna need to clear these up and uh, move all that stuff from there. Or at least part of it, because I don't know if all of this is gonna... It's gonna have enough space there, and definitely there's a lot of weight here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, supported by this shelf, especially because this bottom portion here, because I wanted to put my computer here, the first shelf is uh, way higher than it's supposed to be, and uh, these legs are really flimsy. And if I put any more weight on it, they'll just uh, bend and the whole thing is gonna fall off. Uh, yeah, a lot of work. That's why uh, I'm still not ready with the 
the UPS uh, automation. But that's going to happen. Uh, I've also uh, started working uh, for Glovo because I need the money and uh, apparently nothing else uh, works these days. Uh, it was my first day. You can see the bike here. <laughs> It was my first day at Glovo. Uh, I drove around uh, with my car, obviously. I mean, I live in the capital city, and it's definitely not the place to be on a bike or uh, scooter or anything that doesn't protect you from accidents that unfortunately happen a lot. Uh, so, yeah, I really feel is I feel really safe being in a box like this, <laughs> you know, in my car. Uh, kind of protected, uh, you know, compared to just uh, being on foot. Uh, I drove around for just five hours, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I've made. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to do it for a few weeks at least, or, or at least a month to really get a feel of uh, what I'm doing here, but it's definitely. Uh, I think it. I think it's uh, you know, making an average. I think it's the the best payment I've ever got in my life uh, for uh, this amount of work. So uh, that's what's going on. I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, shuffling around with these boxes and components, and there's a hell of a lot of thing of uh, a lot to do because. I have these uh, have these boxes that are full of just unsorted come on unsorted things recovered from anything from uh, these rubber keypad things, uh, heat sinks, copper wire, uh, no nuts. Uh, hard disk print, uh, hard disk heads, everything, just about everything, and what I do is I just pour them on the desk here and grab them one by one and uh, sending each component to its uh, assigned location in all of these boxes and organizers and everything. And it's, it's a lot of things to do, just take a look at this, and this is full of PCBs that need to have the components stripped off them, and connectors, and ah, that is definitely not something that I do uh, in one day. Uh, it's gonna be uh, months of work, if I, if I will do it, because I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad, you know. Even if I don't uh, do it, I still have them here. The stupid thing about keeping it, uh, keeping items like this is that you have things that you forget about. So just imagine searching for this and searching for something in here. Uh, firecrackers, you know? You take a look in here and find things that you probably, f you've forgotten you have like a year ago and you still have them but you don't know you have them so that is really bad i want to know that i have things you know the way that it is now i just have a bunch of something in there so it's not right i need to i need to know what i have because most of the times i need something and i i even go buy things because i don't know that i have them and they're right there so it's pretty it's pretty obvious that it's better to have them organized. Oh, and that being said, I think I'm uh, about to get started. And thanks for watching. See bye bye to my view. Oh, <laughs> you don't like them, do you? You don't like the camera? Come on. Bring me that sweet YouTube karma. Come on. What do you care? You just eat and sleep. All day long. 
I want to do that too. Oh, teach me, master. Goodbye.